All right, solve x cubed minus 2x squared minus 5x plus 6 greater than 0 algebraically and graphically. Uh, let's just do this algebraically first. So in this case, um, you want to, I want to factor this guy out. So let's call this f of x. f of x is equal to x cubed minus 2x squared minus 5x plus 6. Right? To, to factor this out, I'm going to look at potential factors. I'm going to be using the remainder theorem. So my potential factors here are the potential factors of the constant 6, so 1, 2, uh, 3, and 6, and the leading coefficient 1. So my potential factors are plus, minus 1, 2, 3, and 6. Okay. So I'm going to test one of these values out. Excuse me. Let's do f of 1. So I get 1 cubed minus 2 times 1 squared, minus 5 times 1 plus 6, and I want to make sure that it's equal to 0, so therefore it would be a factor. So this is 1 minus 2 minus 5, which plus 6. Now that's going to give me negative 3 minus 5, which is negative 8. Sorry, negative 1 minus 5, which is negative 6 plus 6, is 0, right? So f of 1 is equal to 0. So x minus 1 is a factor. So if x minus 1 is a factor, to find the rest of the factors, I'm just going to use long division or synthetic division to do that. So I'm just going to use synthetic division here. So this is x cubed, this is x squared, this is x, and then this is x to the power of 0, x to the power of 1, x to the power of 0. And then I'm going to put down the 1 here. Okay, So this is the value of k that I plugged in to find my remainder. Now my coefficients here for x cubed is 1, for x squared is negative 2, for x to the power of 1 is negative 5. And for the constant 6, I'm going to bring this guy down, multiply it. 1 times 1 here is 1. You add the coefficients. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. Then you do 1 times negative 1, which is negative 1. Add these two together, you get negative 6. Then you do 1 times negative 6 is negative 6. Add these two together, you get 0. So your, co your quotient is going to have one less degree. This is x squared, x to the power 1, x to the power 0. This is your remainder. Remainder of 0 basically means the factor. So basically you get x squared minus x minus 6, and you can actually factor this. So right now what your factored form of the equation will look like is x minus 1, x squared minus x minus 6, and you can factor this as x squared minus 3x plus 2x minus 6, and in this case um, you would basically get x minus 3 times x plus 2. And this is x minus 1. Okay, so this is your factored form of your expression. Now you want to figure out when this is greater than 0, right? So this is all of this is f of x. Okay, you want to figure out when it's greater than 0. Well, what you could do here is we'll design a number line. So I'm just going to design a number line here. And I'm going to put the values, your critical values that are equal to 0. So one of your values here is 1. The other value here is negative 2. Let's do that here. All right, let's say this is 0. And the other point here is um, 3. Let's say this is positive infinity. This is negative infinity. I'm going to test all of these intervals. So between this interval of negative infinity and negative 2, I'm going to let x equal negative 3. So if x is negative 3, you can notice here that this portion here would be negative. So the x minus 1 should be negative. Negative 3 minus 3 is negative 6. And then negative 3 plus 2 is negative um, 1, right? So the three negatives here would give us a negative. So this is actually less than 0. So this is actually not one of our solutions. We're looking for any value that's greater than 0. So now we check the next interval between negative 2 and 1. I'm going to let x equal 0 here. So if I let x equal 0, 0 minus 1 is negative 1. 0 minus 3 is negative 3. 0 plus 2 is positive 2. And then negative times negative times positive is positive. So this is actually greater than 0. So this is actually one of our solutions. right? So this is one of our solutions. And then I check between the interval of 1 and 3. So between 1 and 3, I'm going to let x equal 2. So 2 minus 1 here is basically equal to positive 1. 2 minus 3 is negative 1. And 2 plus 2 is positive 4. And then you get a negative as a result. 
so this is less than zero, right? So this is not one of our solutions. And then between three and positive infinity, I'm gonna let x equal four, right? So in this case, uh, if you do f of four, you get four minus one, which is positive three. Four minus three is positive one. Three plus two is positive five. So this is also positive, so it's greater than zero. So this is another solution. So technically, therefore, f of x, which we stated was x cubed minus 2x squared plus 5x plus 6, is greater than 0 when um, x belongs to negative 2 and 1, or, or union, 3 and positive infinity. Okay, so that's how we determine it algebraically. If you wanted to determine this graphically, you can plot the points. Right, so I'm just going to create a really quick sketch graphically to show this. Right, but we can plot the x-intercepts. I'm just going to do that here. You can plot the x-intercepts. You can plot the y-intercepts. Right, the x-intercepts here are one and zero, three and zero, and negative two and zero. Okay, the y-intercept. If I do f of zero. I'm going to get um, 6. Okay, so you get 0 and 6. Let's say it's like somewhere up here. It's not drawing the scale, right? Because this is an odd degree function and it's positive, it should end off in the fourth quadrant. And you can also notice that the order of all of these fractions, um, all of these factors, excuse me, is 1, so it should pass through it. So it should start in quadrant 1. So it should kind of do this. And it should end off in quadrant 3, right? Odd degree, sorry, I should start in quadrant 3 and end up in quadrant 1. This is quadrant 1. Okay, so this is quadrant 1, and as a result, we should expect something that looks like this, right? But you can see here that anytime, if you want to solve for the inequality, that's basically all the intervals that are above the x-axis, so it's consistent with our algebraic answer here. Between negative 2 and 1, as well as greater than 3.